And so it at, it's actually true that it's not high blood sugar causes insulin resistance. It's insulin resistance causes high blood sugar. So un unless you had another place in mind to start, uh, I wanted to just, first of all, uh, now that we've established that, let's dive into what, what is insulin? If we were talking about insulin resistance, I think we first need to tell people and clear up what is insulin. It's, uh, it, it helps shuttle the nutrients in your blood into the cells of your body so that they can be metabolized for energy. So what it, what it really does is it helps kind of coordinate our metabolism. <clears throat> and it also sends our body the signal of that we have just consumed food, right? So when insulin is present, it helps shuttle nutrients, both carbohydrates and fatty acids into your peripheral tissue. So your muscles, your fat cells, etc. So insulin resistance is your body is not properly utilizing insulin how it should be. So on the inside of your cell, the insulin receptor actually changes and it's like, dude, stop sending me stuff. So then the body's like, well, I don't want this in the blood. So take it. So they just start producing, your body starts producing more insulin. And then your cells keep ratcheting up the insulin resistance because they're like, stop, 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 stop. So it actually happens gotcha. on the inside. And so then your body starts manufacturing more insulin to offset this resistance to keep blood sugar levels and fatty acid levels normal. But eventually you just can't keep up. So the, the, the picture I painted of it starts in the cell and your body tries to compensate. We know that from like molecular biology data. And we also see that same process manifest in clinical data. However, one of the questions that I have that I don't particularly understand is the process by which you described how people become insulin resistant and how they develop diabetes, prediabetes. Uh, and, and that you, you know, you said, Hey, most of the time it's because of it's an energy overload thing, right? 